How you doing, YouTube? Matt, Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. Little outside jams, trying to get the nature in before uh, winter comes. But uh, doing a little bit of Texas today, a lot of Texas today, in the form of Ingenious Brewings. It's their lead in Texas, I assume. Um, New England style IPA. Um, first things first, this beer comes courtesy of Rob. Thank you very much, brother. He sent me off a box of beers. This is one of them. Now I'm messing with them. Because it's Texas. And, uh, yeah. Uh, it's got a cool graphic on front. Kind of like like metal style. Like speed metal music style graphic. On the back, all it says is Ingenious Brewing. So you got this kind of hop cone. And uh, kind of brain pattern thing. Very much like a couple other things I've seen. But is what it is. And it just says Made in Texas. There's no real name on the beer. Um, it was canned just a hair over a month ago and then basically it says juicy new england style ipa three times dry hopped with mosaic and mutika we're gonna do it there you go so let's dive into this sucker see what she's got yeah i'm out here in the view of the buckaloos um the farm i live on is actually called buckaloo view um, I have not been out here. It has been one of the worst years in the history of mankind when it comes to like mosquitoes and bugs and all that kind of stuff. I tried to power through it. I tried to do stuff out here. Um, but yeah, wasn't having it. But it's getting, it's essentially fall. It's getting cool, cooler. I don't know if you can see our cows out there in the corner. And it's getting quite nice. So I figured it'd come out. Bang off a couple of reviews. And this, you know, it has that hazy look to it. Piggy finger. You know, really rocky edges, a little bit of creaminess on the inside, but rocky for the most part. Pretty uniform bubbles, and she's got a haze to her, but nothing super dense. It's like a little bit of a kind of washed out kind of haziness. Like, um, if there was brighter light, you could glean a decent amount of color from it. So, let's get a nose on her. Soft green, soft green bittering in a weed, pulling weed kind of fashion, not uh, a, a kind of smoking weed kind of fashion, but it's very soft. I'm not getting much root vibes from it. A soft sweetness, a very soft sweetness, a little bit of weed pulling greenness, done and done. Really not much on the nose, so let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah, pretty much the same in the taste. You got a little bit of that soft green. Quits pretty quick. Um, there's, a, there's like a weird rindy component in there too. It's like a soft rindy component, but it, it, it doesn't really show much. The sweetness is some, like way less than it should be. Way less than I'd like it to be, let's put it that way. really not much redeeming about this beer i mean the soft greenness of it is fine but other than that yeah it's really kind of missing a mark there's soft like i said there's a soft rindiness about it sure that kind of lends a little bit of flavor to it in a citrus variety um there's a soft greenness it slightly has like a slightly mentholiptic kind of vegetal not vegetal um uh, medicinal kind of mintiness to it, but it's very, very small. Other, I mean, this is reaching. There's really not much else to the beer. It's super neutral. That's it. It's not negative. There's no off flavor. I'm not getting anything as far as off flavor. No DMS or dimethyl sulfide. <laughs> Same thing. Um, or any of the bits and pieces you would expect from like a beer being off, especially being a month old and traveling on a beer meal. But it's also not showing in any kind of meaningful way. Just one of the most kind of uninspiring generic beers I've had in quite some time. And that's a bummer. 
You know what I mean? Like you talk about new beers you find from people. You're like, oh, you just want to be kind of uh, not just blown away, just kind of enamored with beers. But this one just misses the mark completely. Yeah, kind of a bummer. Not, not all that ingenious, to be perfectly honest with you. So, yeah, uh, that's all I have. I have nothing else for you. Let's talk about it. Is it one of the better New England style IPAs I've had as of late? No. Definitely not. Value and availability? No idea. Maybe Rob can chime in and leave you with, if you like what we like, is if you like New England style IPA, but you want them to be very muted in flavor. You don't want to have this any kind of over-the-top robustness. Uh, if you want kind of Fisher Price, my first New England style IPA. That's kind of how it lands. If that's what you're looking for, this will give that to you in spades. Otherwise, just kind of a super bummer it is what it is. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. Uh, down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer massive if you want to check me out doing a whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice little um, Texas-born hop jam right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.